no one else might be concerned about Kishane Thompson, but he's running around the same time frame as uh, Oblique Seville. But we also have Fred Curley, who has seen faster time than Kishane Thompson. Will he get back to that kind of time? What can we expect from this event? Welcome again to Red It's okay to be curious, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell for our future video uploads, and drop a comment. No one is back in training after Jamaican signal their intent for Paris Olympics. No one is withdraw from the Monaco Diamond League to go back into training. No one is, no one is you know, issue a formal apology to the fans who were expecting him to show up. You know, he is obviously the man to beat. He's a world champion for 100 and 200 for 2023. 2024 is an Olympic year, and a lot of people always want to be there on the big stage. Now, the marquee event in track and field, obviously, is sprint. It's the 100 meter. If you want to be the, if you want to prove that you are the fastest in the world, you are the fastest. You have to win the 100 meter in the fastest possible time. No else he had had some some success in 200, 100, and the guy is versatile enough to run four four by one or four by four. The guy is a, a complete athlete. No, you can see that he admires the Jamaican culture. He even got himself a Jamaican girl. You have some Jamaican blood in him at this point, you know, doing some rap music. His girl rapping about her bow, <laughs> but. I don't think the, his girl is the biggest thing on his mind at the moment. I think you have Oblique Civil who was, his, who was on his mind. They were running around about the same time. But the thing about these athletes, they are like no one else. Very well trained. Very well coached. They know how to win at, at, in the big moments. They are... He, is, he represents a continent. He represents the US, um, USA of America. Right? He represents the USA. No, he represents everything that the USA stands for. He's even the fastest man in the world according to the USA. They don't care about any other country. That's how much he have riding on this. Alongside Shakari Richardson. Nobody else is faster than these two until you go over to the little island of Jamaica where the sprinters are built and made. And any, any given day, you'll find a new sprinter. And Kishane Thompson is putting the fear of God in Noah Lyles at the moment. Noah Lyles decided that instead of going out there and running some... Instead of going out there and continue his Diamond League conquest, he's going back to the drawing board. He's going back into training. No. Will it be enough? Will, will the training be enough for Noah Lyles? He's never run 9.7 before. Kishay in terms of PB with 9.7. Noah Lyles, he have a PB of 9.8, 9 low 8. And we are seeing where Kishay in terms of was literally just jogging and getting his feel of the, 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 mat, the races and getting to that PB that Noah Lyles have. Um, oblique Civil putting in some good work getting that similar pb right around there i'm not saying that the u.s team is not fully capable of doing amazing things because you know jamaican team injury could rock them confidence could rock them you know they could go there and in the big moment they they just freeze up you know, they just don't produce we also have i think jamaica got the team that they would have preferred to have even last year, we have Akeem Blake, Oblique Civil, and Kishane Thompson. That's a very, very good team. I don't think Jamaica could look for a better team at the moment where we are in the 100s. It's the best team that Jamaica could get. Akeem Blake could put some problems. Could He could run a race where he knocked out anybody. The problem is that in the finals, we may not get the best out of Akeem Blake. But like a semi-finals, rounds... He could knock out some of these strong athletes. Kishane Thompson is running very well. I don't know if he, he, I saw a video where he was saying that running rounds is not something that he's very experienced with, but he's getting into farm. I saw that he went over to the Diamond League. He did a to that meet in Hungary. Very good run. 9.91. 
if he continues to run races he will be edging closer to that to taking up the sub 10 king title he would be replacing asafa in various ways because the guy already looked like asafa speak like asafa somehow he, he came he was built by the same man who built asafa literally and right now he's running sub 10s just fun as a normal thing jog sub 10 actually so we could see great things from Kishane Tom Thompson right we could see great things from Kishane Thompson see, we are already seen great things but Noah Lyles training may not bring him to the 9-7 could it bring him to 9-7 and if it did what would you take from it he had been running a long time he had been putting in a lot of work will two or three weeks be enough to bring Noah Lyles to 9-7 shape what would be his best opportunity to beat Kishane Thompson Kishane Thompson running the way he's running now not even finding a new gear running the way he's running now we don't even know what his fastest time look like we have seen Noah Lyles consistently for a while he would run alongside a very good athlete and he would pass them he have that top end speed we saw him with oblique civil the top end speed kicks in and there are times when he would it seems like you can pull the best out of a Noah Lyles but is he 9-7 would you say he has that 9-7 in him can he train himself to get to 9-7 will this additional training boost him to the point where he wants to be or could it break him because we're talking about a guy who is interested in running the 4x4 the 200s the 100s he is the face of american athletics no i said that kishane thompson out of nowhere is the face of of the 100 meter is the face of sprinting one might say hey this guy is too young too new to be considered the face but his time represents the face no one else times does not represent the face even omen yala a better time than Noah Lyles and that's where we, 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 we could draw the line and say that the time doesn't make any difference because we have seen him in Yala in the big big races he just doesn't show up but he give you a very good time every single year you can expect a 9-7 high his 9-7 from Omin Yala but when it's the time when it matters most you may not see anything from Omin Yala you may just freeze up you may not you just give you something early season which prove that he's very fast but he's not necessarily the athlete that have the consistency you know now Allah has been the athlete that he is running rounds on top of rounds and getting faster as he goes on and Kishane Thompson saying I'm not used to running rounds I'm not used to controlling my efforts how does this work out for Jamaica how does it work out for our team Jamaica and as I said before Jamaica have one of the dream 100 meter team at the moment with Oblique Seville, Akeem Blake and Kishane Thompson they could make a run at the 100 meter 4x4 the 4x4 um, gold they could take a swing at that it's very interesting how much a single Jamaican championship trials make it's, it's, it's just impressive how much a single event changed things this is pushing or promoting the Olympics in a totally different way it's just pushing it out there where the excitement is off the chains it's, it's through the roof people are now interested in seeing what the marquee event the 100 and 200 meter have to offer Noah Lyles had been confident he has boosted his confidence for a long time now talking a lot even saying that you know what I want to see what the Jamaicans have right but the Jamaicans showed him and it's not exactly what he was hoping to see he wanted to see something but it's not what he was hoping to see I want to know what you guys think drop your comments down below let me know what you think do you think that Noah Lyles will be able to get to 9-7 shape within just two weeks of training do you think Kishin Thompson is consistent enough to push Noah Lyles to the brink do you think that Kishane Thompson will be able to run the rounds during the Olympics and get the result that the country and the world is looking for? Do you think Oblique Civil may be a dark horse 
in that race because he no one else might be concerned about Kishan Thompson but he's running around the same time frame as uh oblique civil but we also have fred curly who have seen faster time than kishane thompson will he get back to that kind of time what can we expect from this event what can we expect from the olympics will jamaica come back into the frame of things getting a male sprint medal in olympics drop your comments down below let me know what you think right now if you like share subscribe